Well, smartphones are getting smarter, laptop, laptops rather are becoming increasingly portable, and people who just cannot put them down are finding more remedies. Are we addicted as a society? Here with that, plus answers to your questions, is Live at Five's technology expert, Cliff Poe. So are we addicted to our devices, if you will, Cliff? You know, actually, there are some people in California, of all places, who are starting an internet addiction group, I guess, if you will. And I understand you can pay several thousands of dollars to become, uh, to have some sort of cure, I guess. <laughs> I, I think some people probably think we are becoming addicted. Uh, I've been doing a lot of reading on the internet. I read something by the World Academy of Art and Science, and they were saying that as a society we were, we were becoming dehumanized. Mm -hmm. The devices were causing us to lose our civility, our individuality, and our compassion. Well, when you go out to dinner these days, so oftentimes you find people at the dinner table and they're texting one another as opposed to having that one-on-one -on -one face-to-face right. -face communication. That's right. I actually listening to NPR this morning, I heard where a large restaurant chain was offering smaller plates and smaller portions of food so that people would have more room to hold their device in one hand and eat with the other. So technology is definitely That's separating. Sad. It is. It really is. But, but maybe we're gonna, going to get skinnier in the process? I, I would hope so. Yeah, If that's too. the case, I'm going to start eating there more. <laughs> I think uh, one of the, the summaries of the information that I was reading was that the device, it puts a barrier between people. Mm -hmm. So they do not have to connect mm -hmm. like they did when they didn't have the barrier. And having those devices, it makes it so easy to go online and just say something mean and heartless mm -hmm. that you might not otherwise say if you're sitting across from that person. So I don't know if we're addicted, but it's definitely altering society and making us um, more impersonal than it used to be. Something else that I've noticed, and this is just me personally because I've got two teenage boys, mm -hmm. but whenever my kids answer the phone they don't say hello or even whenever they're calling someone they just say hey and they launch into the conversation right. is that something you're also seeing because more kids are just texting and they're not calling it is and it's because they don't have a vocabulary like they used to have True. texting is now reduced to one or two letters instead of uh S-E-E-Y-O-U, it's just C-U, the letter C-U. Right. And this is causing us to lose the ability to communicate with other people. And we think that when we're on the phone, we think this is old-fashioned technology. We don't think that the etiquette applies like it used to. And we use the same etiquette on the phone and the same etiquette interacting with our teachers and our peers as we do when we're using our portable device. What's the answer? Put it down, just close the lid, put it away. I was talking to uh, a parent earlier, and she said every day when her kids come home from school, they insist that they have a sit-down dinner with no technology at the table. Mom, dad, all the kids, no technology, and that's the time to reconnect and talk. And, and she actually tells her, her children, you know, don't talk to me like you're texting to me. Have a conversation with me, mm -hmm. speak in complete sentences. So I think the answer is first you have to recognize if you have an addiction a or a problem, and two, you've got to put the device down. This is not a drug. It's not causing a chemical change in your body. Right. It's a choice. So set it aside and focus on the people around you. They're more important, I think. That's right. All right, let's get to a couple of these questions. My iPhone will not let me send text with pictures when at home with my wireless, and it won't let me respond to text when I'm away from home. What's going on? Is something wrong with my phone? She definitely has a problem. On that iPhone, I think what I would do if I were her is I would look up how to do a soft reset on my iPhone. That would put the phone back to its original settings but keep her data on there. I would also check uh, an over-the-air update and make sure that she has the latest operating system. She definitely has a quirk going on with her phone. So look up soft reset and see if that won't clear it up. If that doesn't work for you, take it to an Apple bar at one of the Apple stores and tell them. Okay, another question. Uh, which one would you go with, a Windows tablet with 32 gigs or an iPad with 16 gigs? If I only had one check to write, I'm going to write it to Apple. I'd get the iPad with 16 gigs. All right. Easy enough. Cliff, thanks so much. We mm -hmm. appreciate all of your insight, and you'll be back in, in what, week after? Two that? weeks, yes, I all will. All right. Thanks so much.